Hi, my name is Alex trout -Goyk. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Wollongong and my research focuses on how new surveillance technologies are being uh, both developed and applied within our own Western liberal democracies, so in Australia and the US, and also within the context of China. Now, a particular focus of my research is on how new technologies are being applied in society and how different people's uh, perspectives of these technologies, how they differ between either age groups or within different communities because these technologies are now increasingly mediating our uh, contemporary relationships and, and it's important that we understand how we are all perceiving these technologies and how we are engaging with these technologies. My name is Jade Hutchinson. I'm a Master of Research candidate at Macquarie University and my research focuses on the distance between ideas and behaviours, specifically to do with far-right extremism and the way that far-right extremists may enact certain violences, violence for certain ideas. The thing that I'm most interested in as a part of my research is what characterises behaviour and how does that behaviour then affect the sort of the way that communities then behave in towards both those ideas and those types of behaviours. So in 2019, the both of us were lucky enough to participate in the Communities of Practice, which was an initiative held here at the Nantian Institute in Wollongong, and it was an attempt to try and bring together uh, different members of the community, both uh, community leaders, volunteers, uh, business people, but also the youth. And the attempt was to try and see if we could come up with humanistic principles or humanistic values and try and incorporate these into solving some of the contemporary challenges that we now face. So at this community of practice, Alex and I organized a workshop and the workshop attempted to concentrate on this relationship between the youth and internet use. So as we had members from the communities come and participate in this workshop, it gave us a chance to be able to have an in-depth and long-form conversation with them about this ex expanding relationship between youth and the way the internet is being designed for their use. Now, a reason that we were focusing on the internet is because it's now ubiquitous. We all deal with the internet in our daily lives, but we actually all have different or slightly different perceptions of how we should be using this specific tool. Now, existing government strategies, such as those being developed by the Australian Federal Police and other initiatives, they do very well in emphasising the dangers and the harms of the internet, but at the same time, they undercut and they underplay the real potential here, the, the benefit that can come from developing a mindful internet practice. And a part of this, Alex and I like to refer to the internet technology and the applications associated with it as the digital Excalibur and the virtual cornucopia. Hmm. And although these phrases may seem sort of humorous or sort of with mythical reference, they're a way to change this conception that we have of internet technology and that we can really unlock the potential through educating the youth and generations that follow them on how to use these types of technologies appropriately. So the result from this workshop was that we developed a set of internet principles and these principles can help individuals engage with the internet in really meaningful ways. That is to say, to utilise the internet's potentials, either for self-learning, self-development or communication with other groups, at the same time that we mitigate some of the risks and the harms that are posed by unfettered uh, internet use and also that are posed by some of these platforms such as Facebook, such as Instagram, some of these platforms that we now know that corporate entities have designed specifically to draw in young members and also individuals in general to stay on and to be using these platforms for as long as possible in order to generate as much wealth as possible from the data that is collected from this engagement. So the workshop and the compendium that then resulted from it is almost a direct answer to some of the research that Alex and I personally conduct. And this has to do with some of the psychological effects, the social effects and the political effects of the way that internet is coming in contact with societies and the way that we're managing this relationship with an absence of education. And this is something that the compendium seeks to appease.
Mm. So other articles that featured in this compendium were on a wide variety of topics that were presented at the community of practice, such as on compassion and how we can manifest compassion in our daily lives and within our business relationships. Also, there was another article on sustainable environmental practice and how that can be incorporated on a community level. And the purpose of distilling all of these stories down and having them feature within one location, as we have tried here with the compendium, is that so we can pass on the knowledge, pass on the experience that the Wollongong community has generated in regards to solving contemporary challenges, passing these lessons on to a wider communities and communities around the world. That's exactly right. This compendium now forms a type of blueprint that you can pass on to other communities so then they can have their own community of practice event. And this essentially creates a network of communities that are communicating to one another the lessons of their own collective wisdom in how they're going to then manage their shared future. And we know that this blueprint is successful. For example, in the wake of the Community of Practice for 2019 and in us writing this compendium, within the local Wollongong community, there have been sustainable environmental groups set up that are talking to individuals that are talking and engaging with community members and figuring out how we can approach the environmental crisis in a mindful way uh, and approach that together as a community. Another thing that this compendium does is that it asks for a community to think critically about themselves and about the way that they behave between one another. And also it gives them a chance to think about where they're going to be in the future, where their kids are going to be and their grandkids' kids. The compendium is an opportunity to develop these skills in critical thinking, introspection and empathy so that we can use them to manage and sustain our relationship with internet technology and the applications associated with it. And it is this, exactly this kind of direction that we now need, given the prolific nature of technology, given the prolific nature of the internet. We need tools, we need to come together as communities and understand how the internet and how other technologies are affecting us and those we love. Developing this relationship with the internet and the applications associated with it is not just something that we can help to get by in our daily lives. The internet is extremely useful, not only for the way that we operate in society, but the way that we can develop ourselves and our community. We have to then perceive the internet as a corpus of information that we can draw upon to make ourselves better people. Mm. And in doing that, and enough people do that, particularly with given the accessibility and the ubiquity of the internet, this is essentially a universal gateway to just to being a better society, a more cohesive society. And so, in collaboration with the Nantian Institute, Lions Clubs and local high schools, we hope to pass on these principles, to pass on the lessons that we've learnt from community members and engage the youth in a meaningful dialogue about internet engagement in this digital age. We wanted this compendium to be as accessible as possible. And what we mean by this is that although it is in itself an academic document, it is written and structured in such a way to be readable by all individuals within the community. We see the future of community engagement as being a direct line between those who have the capacity to offhand complex ideas so that the rest of the community can employ and benefit from them. Now, some examples that were produced from this conversation with the community and that featured within the compendium in our internet principles were such things as getting individuals and the community to recognise that a lot of these platforms that people are now engaging with are designed specifically so that you spend as much time on these platforms as possible. Uh, The way that the business models of these different social media sites work, such as Facebook, such as Instagram, is that they extract data from individuals depending on how long you stay on these platforms for. So it's about getting individuals to recognize that the longer that you stay on these platforms, the more you are actually effectively made to work for the interests of specific corporate companies. So we wanted these principles to be both conceptual and practical tools that the youth could use to then better manage their relationship and not only manage their relationship with internet technology but to unlock the potential of internet technology 
That's exactly right. So another such example would be to identify specific times where you disconnect entirely from the internet, whether it be family events, whether it be eating a meal. There are certain times and junctions where we can say, we will put the phone to the side, we will engage in having meaningful discourse with our family, with our friends and with our loved ones. And these types of practices, they emanate benefits both socially and ideologically. And something as simple as putting your phone to the side can give you and your family or your friends or your teachers an opportunity to speak about something very meaningful and something that might help you in the future. These are some of the examples of the principles of internet use that are contained within this compendium. Now, it's no secret that internet sites and social media platforms such as Facebook, such as Instagram, such as Google, that they hire a host of behavioral psychologists and strategists to try and get people as addicted to these platforms and to try and get individuals to spend as much time on these platforms as possible. And unfortunately, the truth is that it is often young minds that are being targeted. Now, what the youth and indeed what we're all presented with on social media platforms such as Facebook, such as Instagram, Instagram are stylized images of reality. They're taken at the opportune moment in the perfect lighting and also they're cropped and filtered to create a particular stylized image, but they do not reflect reality. And the truth is that this is now having a detrimental impact on individuals and particularly on the youth, on their self-esteem, on the way that they relate to one another and also on levels of depression. That's exactly right. And what's happening is that these social media companies are hiring some of the best minds of our generation to then shape the most young and plastic minds of our generation. And we need to be careful in the way that this relationship is going to have impacts on both their psychology and their physical health. As Alex pointed out, there's become a series of mental illnesses that have increased in popularity, let's say, since social media has entered our society. What has also happened is that there's certain ideas that are floating on these social media sites that are not filtered by any form of empirical or academic or moral rigor. And so these ideas are becoming more popular as well. And they're having a result on the way that people behave towards other people by consuming these types of ideas, unfettered by certain education principles as the ones illustrated in the compendium. And that's exactly what we tried to capture here. We tried to equip people, equip individuals, equip young people with the skills required to critically engage with the internet, to recognise the forces that are at play and how their actions might be shaped when they're uh, engaging with this online medium.